The crisis in Nigeria's ruling People's Democratic Party has deepened with the forced resignation of some of the key figures in the party's national executive, including its influential chairman, as well as a number of serving state governors. The resignations were ordered by a committee appointed by President Goodlock Jonathan to save the party from imminent collapse, as the president put it. Critics say the president is trying to install his own representatives ahead of crucial presidential elections in 2015. The city of Abuja, the stronghold of the ruling People's Democratic Party in Nigeria, a city dripping with Nigeria's oil wealth, and now immersed in the bewildering intrigues of the country's politicians. At the center of it all is this man, Alhaji Bamanga Tuku, millionaire businessman and national chairman of the People's Democratic Party, which is President Goodluck Jonathan's party. Alhaji Tuku and the entire National Working Committee of the PDP have been summarily fired by the president, ostensibly for failing to rein in renegade elements of the party. According to analysts, Alhaji Tuku's inability to control those elements had forced the president to take direct control of the party, leading to a flurry of suspensions as well as lawsuits against the party. The removal of Alhaji Tuku is a double-edged sword. Mr. Tuku has a lot of supporters in the north of Nigeria, and it could raise the political temperature in a region already bedeviled by security and economic challenges. On the other hand, it offers President Jonathan a chance to clear the decks and install his own hand-picked representatives who could lay the groundwork for his possible victory at the presidential elections in 2015.